my personal take on what I've seen happen across Europe is um, is a form of a structural shift. You've seen companies shut plants down. You you know you've seen decisions already get made that are really not they're not going to be a factor for the next few quarters or years. So I think that um, you know just putting an end to some unprofitable situations is something that we've seen go on throughout 2023 that this was the year of okay no more you know yeah. that um so there's that and then you know on on the world front if you're looking at demand i think that you know demand just like in other regions is not all that robust but it's also um you know it's really better matched to supply than it was a year ago because there's less supply for certain products so so that's i think that um you know i'm continuing to watch and listen especially in earnings calls for global companies what is their europe strategy is it more closures is it is it closing a manufacturing site to make it more competitive cost wise you know i'm not for example and i, I this, I don't know anybody doing this, but if a company says, yeah, we're shutting this plant for two years, when it comes back, it will have no fossil anything, you know, no electricity, no, no anything related to, okay, maybe that that's resulting in certain incentives that are making that plant extremely profitable. And then the products, everything at the site, including the fuels and everything will be of this, uh, you know, more desirable quality are they able to secure contracts to sell this so that's the sort of thing where i'm like i'm looking more for for what's ahead in europe in terms of company strategies